In this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of creating Cloudflare SSLs for your websites. They are free, they're easy to use, and there's a lot of reasons you might want to check them out. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and let's get into it. This website has no SSL certificate, and I want one for free. This domain name is registered through Namecheap, and they do not have any free SSLs. The host that I'm using requires you to transfer the name servers to the host to get the free SSL but I only want to transfer the A record for various reasons. If you want to know why, let me know. I can make a video about that. So I'm kind of stuck with, I don't want to pay for the Namecheap SSLs. I can't get a free one from the host because I have to transfer the name servers. So I'm going to get a free one instead from Cloudflare. To make this work, all you have to do is log into your Cloudflare account. I have a free account on Cloudflare. And then right here, we click on add a site. It's going to copy this domain name continue. We're presented with a bunch of things that cost money. Even though I just said it's free, scroll down. The free option's right here. And we get a universal SSL included with the free one. Click on continue once you've chosen that. This is a review of the current DNS records that Cloudflare has pulled in. This review, this is accurate. If there's any missing, you can add them if you need to, but you probably don't. Cloudflare is pretty good at finding this stuff. Click on continue. Here it shows us to change our name servers. This is different than what I did want to do earlier, to change my name servers to my host, because at the host, it's a dead end. The name servers just end there. Whereas with Cloudflare, it's a loop. So we'll change the name servers to go to Cloudflare, but then it loops back to where it was inside Namecheap. So you got to find these records for these name servers. Now it's instructing us to go to Namecheap, remove these name servers, and add these ones. And if you're getting value from this video, let me know by liking it and subscribing and leaving any questions you may have in the comments down below. Now let's get back to it. So let's click to copy. In Namecheap, when you open a domain name, it goes to this domain tab, it defaults to here. Find the section that says name servers, click on the drop down beside Namecheap basic DNS and choose custom DNS. Paste in the first name server, copy this, paste in the next one check the box and now those are saved up here it says update may take up to 48 hours to take effect cloudflare says up to 24 hours so one of those two is correct click on done check name servers doesn't do anything just gives us a list of things that we're going to work through inside of our cloudflare account if we want to i really just want the ssl certificate i'm going to click on finish later and on this page if we scroll down to the very bottom we can click on check name servers and that will actually do the check that that blue button implied it would do, but it doesn't. Check your name servers. Please wait a few hours for an update. So that's quite a while. The best thing you can do is just go away from the computer or work on something else and then come back to this tomorrow or the next day and the name servers should be in effect and then we can apply our SSL certificates to our site. It's been about one hour and our site is showing as active inside of Cloudflare. If we click on here, we can work on all these options we have to the left not all of them are gonna be part of the free plan. In fact, most of them aren't, but SSLs are part of the free plan. So let's click on SSL. If we scroll down, we can see our SSL is already activated, currently set to full, which means it encrypts between the browser and Cloudflare, between Cloudflare and the origin server. Even more encryption is the strict full, but I just keep it on full in most cases. And now we have an SSL running on this site. Sometimes there can be issues with SSL certificates not being applied to all pages on your website. This tutorial will help you fix that. It's all about forcing SSL throughout your entire site. It's super helpful. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.